You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries. As we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family or business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Before we get into our intriguing content today, please join me in welcoming our featured guests from the Orange County Family Justice Center Foundation, both of them. Susan Brigman, welcome. Hi, Ron. Thank you for having us. Tracy Theodore, welcome. Good morning. Glad to have you with us. And let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you. And you can reach out to me directly, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. There are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. Well, I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan. A plan to save you money. I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference. 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990. Glad to see you with us this morning. If you have questions or comments that you'd like to pipe in on our Facebook Live page, you can throw those questions right on there. We do monitor them from the studio here. And if we have the opportunity, we will see if we can answer any of your questions live. I know we got a lot of questions that came in yesterday. It was amazing uh, from the broadcast yesterday discussing uh, homelessness with Chris Murray. Holy cow. I think we've already had about 10,000 people watch the YouTube channel. We've had about 600 on the Facebook Live channel. Actually, there was about 300 on Facebook Live yesterday and about 600 on the replays on Facebook. So I guess homelessness is a pretty serious issue in Southern California. Got to check that one out yesterday. If you didn't see it, go check those out. They're all still posted. They'll remain there. Celebrations for today. Uh, I don't know about these. We've got Talk Like a Pirate Day. I don't think so. (laughs) National IT Professionals Day. I got a bad feeling about this. And National Butterscotch Pudding Day. Can we just get something chocolate in there, please? I don't know about all those things. Uh, Moving on to the markets. We'll check out the markets for you every morning. Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, Up 32 points right now. Oil down 21 cents a barrel. The Treasuries, U.S. 10-year Treasury, it's moving up again. 2.24 is the yield on that 10-year Treasury. That's uh, not doing so well, but it's better than we were. I told you it was going down to 190. Sorry about that. We did get 1.98, so wasn't too, too bad, but now we're moving back the other way, and we'll see what we decide to test here in the days and weeks to come. Our seniors, they're doing better right now, being that they live off of that fixed income. The rest of us, uh, we're looking at it because of mortgage rates. Mortgage rates going back up. If you didn't listen to me when I said a couple of weeks ago, get into the market and get those homes refinanced while you still could, well, maybe you missed out on it. We'll see. Just a little thought for you there as we always try and give you some information. Hey, I got to correct the record. I'm sorry I gave you some bum information yesterday. The 2017 Enema Awards, they had those on Sunday night. I had mentioned that they were the worst awards ever, the worst ratings ever. I thought, I, no, I'm sorry that, about that. I said they were the second worst. And they were the worst Enema Awards ever. They got the worst ratings ever in the history. Now, if you are like me and one of the deplorables, well, you probably knew as soon as they put on there that the host was going to be Stephen Colbert, that it would not be something you'd want to participate in. And you were right. So it was just nothing more than a bunch of people who like to talk to themselves, talking to themselves, and bashing the government, bashing the president. Amazing, but you get what you pay for. I guess that's what the network wanted, so they got the ratings that they wanted. We'll see what happens from there. 
checking out other items in the news. Did you watch the president's speech this morning? Not sure if you're Rocket Man, you're going to be too happy if you're going to be sleeping too well, according to the president's comments at the United Nations today. Great speech, in my opinion. Talking about the idea there that it is a sovereign country and that the president of the United States looks after the, the United States first. And I like the way that he put in there that every other world leader should be doing the same for their country, looking out after their country first. Uh, but he did mention the idea that if need be, and if the U.S. does get to the ultimate need of going militarily, and he said that it is the last resort, that the dictator himself would be a, 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 um, uh, wiped out as well as the entire regime. So I don't know if, the, if their idea is to try and con, uh, coerce people into doing what they want. Not sure that he's on the right track with this one. Yeah, but we'll see what happens if further in the news. Well, the president proves to be right. I guess the, the, they were being wiretapped before, during, and after the campaign. See that news come out now that uh, Paul Manafort was bugged. The office, his office is both away from and in Trump Tower because he's got his own business offices there, as well as his office when he worked for the brief time for the, for the campaign. Well, they said that his offices were bugged. Now, here's the question. They haven't announced whether it was a FISA warrant or a criminal warrant. There are big differences in the two. But how is it that the FBI, NSA all said that they had no idea this was going on? You have to wonder about this one. I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, we'll see what happens there. We were just chatting about this before we went on air. Category 5 Hurricane Maria is on the way. I'm uh, going to hit Dominica first, Virgin Islands after that. Puerto Rico, you're in the eye of the storm. Amazing how we keep seeing these things going. But it's ironic enough, you're starting to get some of the folks out there saying that, no, it's not. It, it's the, the climate is changing. It always changes, but it's not man-made change. Very, very interesting how that's going on. And speaking of interesting... Have you seen any of this news? Probably the lame street media probably is not showing this. You're only going to see this on a few different networks about Nancy Pelosi. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Yeah, there's a, several dozen protesters up there in San Francisco would not even let her speak. Now, that I'm not, I'm not complaining about that part. I mean, generally, the less we hear from Nancy Pelosi, the better. But here's the issue is... They're yelling at her that she's a liar and 11 million and they don't want her to, to cooperate with the president. Fascinating how that's going on up there with Nancy Pelosi in San Francisco of all places. Fascinating story there. And the NAACP, you got to love the NAACP. They're suing the president over DACA. Now you got to wonder about this one also. Is how do they sue the president over DACA when all he did was say we're going to follow the law? So what is the issue here? So is the NAACP, well, maybe they are saying that we shouldn't be following the law. Is that their, their idea here? I'm just curious about this one. Repeal and replace back potentially in the news again. We'll see about that one. Maybe John McCain won't show up for this uh, vote and we might have a chance of getting it done. We already know that I guess Senator Menendez is a little busy right now. Uh, he's in court on a criminal matter of his own. So we, maybe he might not be there either. Unbelievable. And in the news also right now, it's amazing. We are midway through September and there's a... a Toy Store. They're changing their name apparently. Just this just coming in, I think we might have some breaking news. Toys R Us is going to go by the name Broke R Us. Apparently. I'm just saying that that's apparently the story. They filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy a couple nights ago, so we'll see what happens there. Right at the time of Christmas. Now think about that concept, Chapter 11 bankruptcy. So that means they don't have to pay their creditors and, and they're not going to give you a break on pricing either. So I guess that might help them uh, in the long run, but we'll see what happens on that one as well. Amazing all these fun things that are going on. Hillary! The gift that keeps on giving. It's amazing how that one continues as well. I thought I heard the president coming in to talk about her a little bit. So I know who's asked to kick. Yeah, the, apparently she says she will not rule out challenging the 2016 election. Really? 
I guess she's had enough time to drink enough Chardonnay and and sit there and figure these things out. But apparently, uh, she wants to see what happens with the Russia investigation as to whether she's going to challenge the election or not. So that'll be another interesting story to watch. I, I don't know about that concept. Don't know what she's planning on getting from it, but that's. I'm, I'm sure based on everything you read about the Clintons, there's got to be some sort of financial motivation for them or their foundation, although that's for them too. I, I, I looked up their, their foundation on Charity Navigator. Apparently, they're not there anymore. So I wonder what that means. Maybe, well, maybe Lois Lerner can help us out with that one. We'll ask her if she can help there as well. And we better get on to our content this morning. Enough of the news. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. When we come back, it is the Orange County Family Justice Center that we will chat about. The foundation. How can we help? We'll talk about what they're up to and what's coming in the future there. Home sales expected to increase nicely in 2018. Bi-weekly mortgage payments. We'll chat about that one. And auto insurance, all that and more. You can reach us anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio. On Twitter, at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Did you know that banks and credit bureaus are rewarded financially if you have bad credit, and the worse your credit score is, the more money they can make off of you? How does that make you feel knowing that banks are getting rich off of your hard-earned money? How does it make you feel knowing that if a bank or a credit bureau makes a mistake on your credit report, they benefit from it and it hurts you? The Fair Credit Report Act of 1971 requires banks and credit bureaus to report only accurate information, and nearly 100% of all credit reports are inaccurate. If you're sick and tired of being broke and tired of being robbed by the banks, you owe it to yourself and to your family to call Rondi. Rondi is a FICO certified credit professional and has helped thousands of people just like you get out of debt and establish great credit. Rondi's number is 855-608-1990. Again, that's 855-608-1990. Or visit creditsanitizer.com. Again, that website is creditsanitizer.com. Are you a veteran? Own a home and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home value. Refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 0186945. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission, lending partners will give a credit at closing, the title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. 
Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. In the real-time real estate segment today, being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio, text NEST, N-E-S-T, to 79564. Find your dream home. Before someone else does, home sales expected to increase nicely in 2018. Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, the Mortgage Bankers Association are all projecting that home sales will increase in 2018. We posted a chart earlier today of what their projections look like. And it's amazing, as we can see, each entity is projecting sizable increases in home sales next year. If you've considered selling your house recently, now may be the time to put it on the market. Why? Well, it's called momentum. Think about this concept. And I, I love this analogy. A friend of mine, Steve Harney, I've shared with you his uh, information many, many times in the past. He talks about momentum. And is there something called momentum when it comes to real estate sales? And the analogy was really great. When you, when you go to a, and we know that a huge percentage of the real estate sales right now is being going through our millennials, young people, 18 to 34 years old. Now, let's think about this. You get a little cocktail party. I don't know if they're at a cocktail party at that age, but you go to a little cocktail party. You got five couples there. Two of them have just bought houses. What do you think the other three are going to think? Now, next year, if you go to the same cocktail party, same five couples, no one's just recently bought a house. Is anybody talking about the new houses they just bought? No, it's not. No, no momentum. They're not keeping up with the Joneses. That's the idea here. So we are seeing a lot of that right now. If you're thinking about buying or selling, or if you want to get on that game plan to buy or sell your own home, Give me a call, 800-306-1990. We will put you in touch with some great real estate professionals anywhere in the sound of my voice. And the lending team is standing by to help there as well. But we all have to remember, one of the key components if you're buying real estate is your community. And being that I am sitting here in North Orange County frequently, we also talk to you from the Coachella Valley, from San Diego, other areas. But you got to remember your community. And that's why we chat so much about community issues, community benefits. We have to be good stewards of the community. And I just happen to be one of those that thinks that the private organizations can do a great job but we all have to get out and help. And one of the organizations that I have been watching and enjoy sharing information on is the Orange County Family Justice Center Foundation and the center itself. A lot of great things going on over there. So we are very, very happy that Susan and Tracy are both here to share with us. Uh, who's going to give us the overview of the foundation this morning or the center? Tracy. How about I uh, Tracy's <laughs> on, on it. Okay. So the Orange County Family Justice Center is a collaboration of 17 government agencies and nonprofits, all providing various resources for those victims. So, which victims? You got I'm, I'm a simple guy, Tracy. Simple guy. <laughs> for victims of family violence, so we're okay. talking about victim of uh, child abuse, domestic violence, sexual assault, and elder abuse. So prior to this type of collaboration, when someone would need help, they need to go to various different sites throughout Orange County to get the resources and the help that they needed. We've pooled 17 different agencies together under one roof so that clients, survivors, can come to one place and get many of the resources they need. Certainly not all of them, but we have shelters, we have child protective or child uh, support services, we have elder, um, adult protect service, protective services, we have the Mexican consulate, we have city attorneys, we have um, CSP, folks can come and get a temporary restraining order on the spot. So there's all sorts of services that they can get within our building that they otherwise would have to go to each of the individual agencies or nonprofits around the county. So it makes it just much more doable and possible for these types of victims. One of the big challenges I see in so many areas, and I deal personally, I've dealt, you know, being the sandwich generation, mm -hmm. right? So I've watched things that have gone on with my folks. I've watched things, that, obviously, with my own kids and, and nieces and nephews and whatnot, is you don't know what you don't know. Right, so when you talk about elder abuse and all these different agencies in one building, 
it makes it, it seems to me, it almost makes it possible because you wouldn't even know to go look for some of these things if you didn't know just to go to the center itself. Absolutely. Many of our victims are leaving their homes with not much more than what's on their back, right? So they they don't know where to go and they don't know what help they need you know in its entirety so they come to us and we have victim advocates that will meet them and at least walk through the process of some of the things that we can do immediately for them and then more broadly connecting them to other services and agencies that may be able to help them kind of more long term through their through their journey the foundation the foundation is one of those collaborative partners one of the 17 entities that is there and the foundation does two primary things we provide direct victim assistance so that can look like clothes food cards kind of immediate needs um, as well as we adopt families during the holidays we do a back-to-school drive we send kids to summer camp those types of things and I think you were when you were in last you were talking about the back-to-school mm -hmm. and the the foundations or the centers I don't know which is the correct one but one of the groups there was was <laughs> talking about the the partnership with Target yes right how'd that go it went awesome. We had the best one yet. Uh, I think we had about 40 students that we took through and what happens is volunteers come in and each one gets a student and we've had donations that allow us to give each um, volunteer a $125 gift card and Target sets up this, they have their employees come in early, they all volunteer to come in early so that they can help us shop before the actual store opens. We take the children out and they get new clothes for school and it, it's just really an awesome day. They're so excited. Some of these children have never had a new pair of shoes for school or, or a new outfit for school and they'll even say things like, well, my sister's home and she really needs socks. Could we get her socks? And of course we get her socks. So everybody gets to go through and, and pick out their new clothes. And then um, Target also has little snacks for them afterwards that they can have. And then we take them back to the center and they get backpacks that are stuffed with age appropriate materials for to start school with. We contact the schools and get that information. So Target has been a great player. Uh, they've been doing it for years now and it just gets better every year. It's amazing how when, when you get a coordination like with what the foundation is doing, coordinating and getting out there that there are so many great partners out in the community that many people never know of yet they're there ready and willing they just need somebody to ask them. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's fascinating. I mean, we were pretty active with the 4th of July, and there's so many with the parade here in, in Anaheim Hills. And there's so many people, so many of these companies, you just love the, the community, the businesses that are community friendly. And that's why I started the segment with that idea is that, you know, we have to be good stewards of the community. And, and there, there are people that are not as fortunate as the rest of us. And the idea of giving them some sort of a hand up. As a, you know, not, the handouts is one thing, but giving them a hand up, and I think that's a lot of what you're talking about and, and the education that you're providing. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask you this, because I want to go back to this, Tracy. You were talking about the, the direct help to the victims. Can, what if you're not a victim, but you know of? Can that person go there to get some of the education to bring back to somebody else that may not be Abs ready to show up? Absolutely. So the other, so the two things that we do is the direct victim assistance, and the other big piece are our empowerment and violence prevention programs. So we have programs for children, for teens, and adults. And so we know very often um, family violence is a learned behavior. And so kids that grow up in a home are very likely to either become victims again themselves down the road or repeat mm -hmm. that type of violence. So the idea of the programs is to stop that cycle of violence, to educate folks and teach them healthy, positive um, ways to live, as well as kind of share that information with the more at-risk community. So if kids are seeing violence in their schools or in the community, it also, it's a learned behavior. So we hope with our prevention programs, they learn a more positive, healthy um, lifestyle. So the, we have kids programs for kids ages five to 12. We have teen programs, 13 to 18. And then we also have um, parents programs called Parents Creating change it's all it's all about self-esteem healthy living healthy boundaries you know violence prevention etc so it, they're all age appropriate very connected um, material but um, all about stopping the cycle of violence and helping to create a more healthy community for us all really and I think I've seen where the, some of the I don't know if the right term is graduates of the program end up becoming mentors for the next group Exactly. Susan, is that what you're 
Yeah, no, exactly. That does happen, and that is um, part of the best feature of the whole thing, that they can mentor and bring more people in. And another thing that I really wanted to bring up that speaks to what you were talking about before, people do not even realize that they're in these abusive situations. We've had many, many parents come in and they come in because their neighbor went and they said, oh, you should come take this class. It's amazing how it helps you. It's so wonderful. And they go and they go, I I'm a victim and I didn't even know it. You wow. Know? Yeah, no. It's And so also, so that's a really empowering thing that they figured that out. So then they realize I do need to learn this other way and they learn that there is another way of living and then they bring their neighbors in and it's partly word of mouth from that whole angle too. So that's really, uh, really good. More, more great information. We're going to continue our conversation talking about the Orange County Family Justice Center. Yes, there is one, maybe in your neighborhood as well. Maybe, I know San Diego, there's another one. That's where it yeah. started, right? Yes. I think I, I thought I remembered that from uh, one of our prior conversations. So, we've got it in various different areas. Uh, Robin, you're right. We're going to continue this conversation. They've got a lot more to share. There is a gala coming up, there's class offerings we're going to talk about, programs. We'll talk about those a little more specifically. We're going to also talk about a bi-weekly mortgage payments, pros and cons. Looking for auto insurance, we're going to give you some things you need to know about that as well. So whatever you do, don't go away. We've got a lot still to cover this morning on Ron Siegel Radio. And you can reach me anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsiegelradio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Siegel Lending Team offers you buying power. Let's say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest, of around $1,900. With today's rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage of 3.75%, APR 3.85%, that payment could support a $416,000 mortgage. But if you wait and rates tick up to around 6.5%, which is roughly the average home mortgage rate over the past 30 years, that same $1,900 mortgage payment, including principal and interest, may only be able to support a $314,000 mortgage. That's over $100,000 worth of home you're you're missing out on by waiting. That's buying power. All you need to do to get started is reach out to the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Payment example excludes taxes and insurance. Call us for full details, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or SiegelLendingTeam.com. Equal housing lender, licensed under NMLS number 217037. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal Housing Lender. Homeowners that are 62 and older are about to find out a great way to live a better retirement. It's called a reverse mortgage, and SLT can help you learn more. Call the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990 right now to receive your free booklet with no obligation. It answers questions like how a reverse mortgage works, how much you qualify for, the ways to receive your money, and more. When you call the experts at Siegel Lending Team today, you'll learn the benefits of a government-insured reverse mortgage, how it will eliminate your monthly mortgage payments, and give you tax-free cash from the equity in your home. Here's the best part. You still own your home. 
Now is the best time to take control of your retirement. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 to get your free brochure. Call today or visit our website at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com or simply call 800 800- You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio. Or anytime at 800 306 1990 800 306 1990. The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by Gold Star Mortgage. When you're ready for that next mortgage, Gold Star has all the programs for you. And they have the only one with the fast pass loan approval, not a pre approval. It is a full loan approval prior to going out shopping. Think about that concept. What is a bi weekly mortgage and what are the pros and cons of making bi weekly mortgage payments? There are some companies that will allow them, some don't allow the bi weekly mortgage. Make sure that you're doing it in the right direction and the right way because you don't want to end up having late fees because you're making payments. But the basis of the bi weekly mortgage payment is really simple. You're making an extra payment every year on your mortgage because think about the math here. If you make a payment every twice a month, that would still just be 12 payments, 24 payments, um, you know, a half each time. But if you're doing a half a payment every other week, then you're making the equivalent of 13 payments a year. You're going to get your property paid off that much quicker. Now, you have to understand, is that part of your family strategy? Is that what you want to be doing? Do you want your property paid off? You know that I am not a proponent of paying off a mortgage. It's the most risky thing that you can do in your life is paying off a mortgage. Think about the other opportunities. When you're able to borrow money right now at at an effective rate of about 3%, why would you want to be putting it in under your pillow? In essence, when you pay off your mortgage, all you're doing is putting money under your pillow. Now, what if you put it with uh, somebody like Al Manfrey, who's showing folks how they can put their money into safe, secure, and insured programs, and maybe get, well, the last 30 years, they've been averaging 8%. This year, I think he said they're at about 17% return. Why would you want to put it under your pillow and, and get nothing? So the bottom line is that it is a strategy if it is in your emotional desire. And I say that with all due respect. Paying off a mortgage is not a financial benefit to you. There's no possible way that you can argue that portion of it. Is it an emotional benefit? Yes, that could be an emotional benefit. But if you just look at numbers, you're never going to be better off paying off a mortgage from just a strict number standpoint. If you want more information on that, give me a call, 800-306-1990. I'll demonstrate it for you anytime you wish. That's the Mortgage Minute brought to you again by our friends over at Gold Star Mortgage. Continuing our conversation today, we are chatting about the Orange County Family Justice Center and Foundation. So we've been chatting this morning. Susan Brigman, Tracy Theodore are with us chatting about this, educating us. If you didn't catch some of the last segment, it's a big con- big conglomerate you've got going on over there. Seven, trying to get 17 agencies to do anything has got to be a, a, a talent <laughs> and a challenge. But uh, you guys have it going on. So let's talk about some of the uh, classes that you've got going on. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, right now we're offering 13 classes uh, in several different locations in Anaheim, Santa Ana, Fullerton, Placentia, Garden Grove. Any other ones? Tustin. Okay. So. Um, and what are the classes? What do you What do you do in the classes? I mean, I I, I was glad when I stopped going to class. <laughs> <laughs> so what are these classes about? Well, they're all. Go ahead, Tracy. Okay. I'll let you take it. <laughs> the classes are anywhere from 10 to 12 weeks. We meet okay. once, once a week for two hours at a time. Um, and they're age appropriate. So we have a kids program for kids age 5 to 12 called Kids Creating Change. Um, we talk about... Um, 
um, healthy relationships. We talk about um, what do you do when you're mad? What do you do when you're sad? What does schoolyard bullying look like? Healthy relationships, how to talk to mom and dad. Um, physical fitness, kind of, you know, we... I don't want to get into that conversation. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I do I. So, you know, kind of full spectrum in terms of um, healthy living, violence prevention. Um, and then for our teens, we have a Real Teens Real Talk program. So similar same premise, um, but more advanced topics, of course, more mature topics. So um, healthy relationships, um, healthy dating. boundaries, teen dating, exactly, um, college prep, um, violence prevention, of course, weave throughout self-esteem. And then we also have a parents program called Parents Creating Change. It's uh, also 10 to 12 weeks. Um, and it's similar topics, but again, just more mature. So positive parenting, self-esteem, healthy relationships. Um, you know, many of the folks that come through our programs were victims of, of family violence. So how to parent um, after one has been a victim. So not over disciplining, but also not under disciplining, right? So kind of finding that balance and helping them navigate those waters can be challenging, but important. And so those programs are taught at our center. They're taught in community centers. They're taught in schools and after school programs. They're taught I'm um, in apartment complexes um, throughout the county. So, how does somebody find out where they are? Because you know, I'm assuming that in some instances that you've got people that have means that can get to the centers, but there's also people that don't have financial resources and can't get there. Correct. How are they able to find them, and how are they able to get to them? Um, well, we do have a website, so of course our programs are listed on the website. The best way really is to call the Orange County Family Justice Center, and we can kind of determine where the folks live and what programs are in their area. The ones that are easiest um, to enroll in obviously are the ones at the center. They're open to anyone and everyone and we encourage folks to come but we are located in Anaheim so we understand that that may be geographically challenging for some folks. We do teach the programs in community centers and apartment complexes um, around Orange County so a quick phone call really is probably the best uh, solution or jumping on the website. And are they running uh, at a in conjunction so like if I you have a five-year class, a five-year-old appropriate class running at the same time as mom's class or dad's class? Great, great question. We just started a brand new class this summer that was very successful. We did this one at our center since it was the first time, but it was exactly that, having the kids' classes run along at the same time as the adult programs, and it was extremely successful. I was able to attend the graduation at the end, and so in this particular one, it was all moms, but that's not necessarily always the case but we had the moms they were I got to speak with several of them and they were just so thrilled they said it was the best thing ever and the kids were so happy and proud of what they learned and they had things all along the wall showing some of the projects that they worked on together on how how they can become happier better healthier families it it was just a really great thing and we're going to do that again so I think it's at the center again this time it is it's uh, Tuesday afternoons we have both we have the children's program the teens program and the parents program all going um, every Tuesday afternoon at the centers right now. So and it works out perfect because then there's no problem with child care for right. the adults. You know, it just works out all the way around. So, um, yeah. Now, I was wondering if that was an impediment to the parents going because of, you know, being concerned about who's going to take care of the toddlers. Well, and also, it's more effective if everyone in the family is getting the same information and can talk about it and share it with each other and implement it if they so choose. And so I think it's a really... So you're giving them homework. Yeah, we're giving them right? homework. Go, of course. But that's, a, but that's a good thing, right? I mean, because it reinforces if, if mom's learning at mom's level or dad's learning at dad's level and the little tykes are learning at their level and then they can go back and they have something to, to communicate with each other it's giving them a positive communi communication Absolutely. and reinforcement. Exactly. It's yeah. a much more holistic approach, I think, and one that could be really effective. Yes. And that the bottom line is, is that the center can only do so much, right? I mean, if you've got a, a two-hour event, right, you've got another 170 hours every week that you want people to be practicing what they've learned so that they can get better. Absolutely. And our biggest proponents and the way that we get many of our folks that attend our classes are folks that have gone through the classes before. We have kids that come back and want to do the programs again and again, which is great. And so we've created additional programs to try to supplement that because once we have a kid that wants to be involved, we certainly don't want them to not be involved. Sure. So we have added a mentoring program. So uh, we have right now about 15 youth um, being mentored by volunteer mentors. And we have another 10 on the wait list as we train new mentors, which is really amazing. We just started that at the beginning of this year. And then we have all sorts of other ancillary programs 
programs. We have a dance program. We have booster classes. Um, so there's lots of field additional trips. field trips, additional programs that we try to do um, to keep the kids um, and folks involved. Sounds like it's a, it's a great program going on there. Now, now, volunteers, is it done by volunteers? Is it paid staff? How do you, how do the, how do the services, are, how are they rendered or is it some of everything? Well, a little of everything. We have a very small staff. Tracy. <laughs> we got the whole staff here. <laughs> the executive director. Well, actually, we do also have a programs director now uh, who works full time to help set up all the programs. But we have uh, several. How many instructors do we have now? Six or seven? Five, uh, five? five facilitators. That facilitators. Teach okay. And um, they're paid a stipend for each. They're. For each Which means class, they almost they get could. gas money to get there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> right? you watch yes, it. yes. They're a little above uh, volunteer, but they do amazing, excellent work, and their hearts are in it. You know, they're just really wonderful people, and some of them are actually survivors themselves, so they can really connect with the families and the kids and share their own stories. That becomes a a. a a powerful meth method, yes, right? Absolutely. And it also it's a reinforcing for them to continue to succeed. Exactly. And and I also want to just mention that um, everything is free when you come to my favorite it, word. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's free to all the participants. It's free to all the survivors. Obviously, it costs the foundation money. I say, nothing that. is free. Nothing is really free. But as far as anybody that needs any kind of assistance, everything at the center is free. All of the partners come and do, do everything for them uh, pro bono. And all of our classes are free. We charge nothing. So, so there's no uh, no impediment of getting there. You can't don't have to worry about correct. the idea of, of uh, having to come up with some money to walk in the door. But as we say all the time, there's nothing in this world is free. So when we come back, we're going to chat about how is it done. They've got this nice building. They've got all kinds of people there. They've got to, someone's got to pay the electricity. So we're going to talk about that when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. We'll also talk, talk about some things you might need to know about auto insurance. All that and more, you can reach us anytime. Off air number 800-306-1990. 800-306-1990 or com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio on Twitter at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Most businesses struggle to get the online reviews they need to get a competitive edge over their competition. Rex is a brand new technology that uses text messages to direct happy clients to your online review sites, Zillow, Google, Facebook, and Yelp, and unhappy clients to a private survey so businesses can win more customers. Try Rex today by going to www.meetrex.com. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed-rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. 
Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call the Ron Siegel Team at 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, the team will send you a no-obligation real estate plan. You be the judge if this is right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to reap at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject change and without notice. Licensed by the California DOC and BRENMLS 217037 and 145502 and CalBRE 01869452 and one 866 675. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio. Or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The Word on Wealth segment today being brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report. It is wrong. What are you doing about it? Credit Sanitizer has the solutions for you. Are you looking for auto insurance? Here's some things you may want to know what is car insurance? And that's a big question. That's the first start right there. If you are driving in California, you better have auto insurance. Otherwise, you could be getting yourself in some serious problems. Insurance is the same regardless of what word you put in front of it. Car insurance, home insurance, they're all the same thing. Basically, what you're doing is you have some sort of risk. And you are giving that or selling or buying or or, or asking somebody else, in this case an auto insurance company, to take on your risk for a fee. That's all it really is, is you pay them so that they will take on your risk. They're not mandated to take on your risk. They are offering a service and they get paid for it. Their idea is not to have any claims. They, they don't, they're not in business to pay out claims. Just remember that part of it. They're in business to make money. So they're saying, okay, we'll take on your risk for a fee, and they're going to look at some sort of actuarial tables and say, what is the level of risk that they have, and they want to get paid for it. Different types of auto insurance. There's liability coverage. There's some places have no fault. Some states are no fault states where everybody pays their own. There's collision coverage. You've got uninsured motorists. There's all these different types. You've got to understand what do you need. How do you get car insurance? And this is a big issue, unless you're really uh, experienced. The idea is to sit down with an insurance agent that can give you some great information on it, because otherwise you may not know exactly what you need, and maybe what you need and what you can afford are different issues. Why you pay what you pay, again, it comes back to the rating factors that we talked about earlier. They're going to look and say, okay, where do you live? Is that an issue? Of course it is. If you're living in a high-risk area, then it's going to cost more for insurance. Now, I know they say that it doesn't, but they're still going to be looking at that. They're going to, some states, California, they don't allow it, but in some states, they actually look at your credit score to see what your credit is like. Maybe you're a little more risky than other areas. How do you lower your risk? How do you lower your rates? Well, sometimes it has to do with what kind of car you're driving, right? If you're looking at auto insurance and you're looking at the cars that they steal the most, you've got the biggest problems right there. So maybe you've got an issue. When do you get insurance? Well, the idea in all insurance is get it before you need it because you're not going to get it after you really need. If you've had a lot of Uh, auto issues, you're probably not going to be able to find a good rate on auto insurance. Once you understand it, once you've been educated on it, then maybe you're ready in some instances to look at the online services. But remember there, when you're going online, you're just trusting that you know as much as an agent does, and there's still a commission built in. So you're not really doing yourself any benefit by going online to get insurance 
unless you really know what you're doing. And my recommendation is if you're experienced and you've been getting insurance for a while, then you might just take the exact same policy and see if it makes sense or talk to your agent and see what they have to say about maybe they have a way of matching the same pricing. Just a thought for you. That's the word on wealth brought to you by creditsanitizer.com. Continuing our conversation, we are chatting about the Orange County Family Justice Center and Foundation. If you're watching us on ronsegalradio.tv, you'll notice that we had to kick Tracy out because she's going to raise some money because it's not all just free, Susan. I know, that's exactly right. (laughs) So, yes, she's off, as she likes to say, dialing for dollars. So um, we always need, obviously, funding for all the programs. just not only to keep the programs that we have going, but also we really want to expand and grow. We have we started out reaching out and asking people, can we do these classes? Now we have cities and different entities coming to us saying, can you please bring the class to us? You can only do so many classes. We, we have to provide the materials and, of course, the, as I said, the stipends for all of our facilitators and um, just the various workings that go on in order to put these classes on. So with that, I wanted to say that we are having our major fundraising event of the year on October 15th, which we do it in October now because it coincides with uh, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So we feel that is the perfect time to have our gala. This year it will be held at the um, City National Grove, uh, as I said, on October 15th. And uh, it's going to be an awesome event. We're going to have a story of a survivor that, um, well, just it, it's really heart wrenching and heart moving to hear the story of this woman and her six children and what she went through and where she's at now. So I don't want to say it all now. <laughs> I would like you to come and hear come it. Come and hear it firsthand. Come and hear it firsthand. That is exactly right. And our theme is based on uh, Moulin Rouge, which every um, every human, every life is priceless and it's about love and that is the theme. And we will have the uh, McCoy Rigby Conservatory uh, dancers come and do a performance, uh, and Kathy Rigby, uh, who has a gold medalist and Olympic gold medalist, yeah, wow. absolutely, absolutely, she will be there, and it's her group that's performing, and it will it will be quite the uh, quite the show. So uh, you will learn about the foundation. You will find firsthand the amazing work that these um, classes, you know, that the whole center and everything is doing. You'll be very highly entertained and you'll have um, an opportunity to really help as you said it's all about community in order to help your community so we um, have plenty of seats left at this point in time you can go on to our we have a Facebook page we have a website you can go on you can buy tickets there Um, we even have a couple of tables left if anybody feels very generous and would like to be a sponsor uh, we would love to have sponsors come and buy a table and bring your friends to find out more about what's going on and all the good work that we're doing. Now there was a the the website from what I remember was was abbreviated, wasn't it? So I think there should be a new website up now. I know okay. we have an IT person that has done Well today is professional IT day. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> and so we have one who has very generously donated time to uh, improve our website. So uh, I encourage people to go to the Orange County Family Justice Center Foundation website, and you can see, um, learn all about us there. You can see photos of different graduations, the children uh, in all their programs, and I believe there's some with adults too. And uh, also, we have to go purchase. and look at the. Uh I'm going to post this on our Facebook page because it's ocfjcfoundation.org. And you can remember all that. You're a lot better than me. But I just I just Googled it so and put on Orange County Family Justice Center. And it's the first thing that pops up. You get some pictures of some some kids out there. Yeah. It looks like on the beach, it looks like. And right there, right on the and down, scroll down just a little bit on the right. And you can see the fundraiser gala. There's more information there. Broadway performance. 
Yeah, yeah. It, it's going to be um, a first class performance. Well, I remember going to one of your luncheons that, that we were at, and it had some it's great information. And I remember you sharing some uh, success stories. Yes, yes. We always like to share success stories because that's what it's all about. Sure, it's about those individuals that are there right now. So take a look at this. It looks like 6 p.m., October 15th. There's a reception there, a 1920s Broadway performance, it says. Um, we'll, put, we'll get this uh, right onto the Facebook page as well. So is, is it a whole evening type thing, or what to, what's the program? Yes, it starts at 6 o'clock, and uh, there will be you know a cocktail hour. There, we will have a silent auction. We're going to have a live auction, and an MC, Matt Rogers, who is also a TV personality. He was our um, MC and auctioneer last year. Fabulous job. He is he's very entertaining and we all had so much fun with him at that time and at the same time uh, we were able to have a lot of donations. And that's, that. and that's the bottom line, right? Exactly. I mean, it's, it's, exactly. These things aren't free. The things that are done in the community, they need the community to really get out and help. That's exactly right. And and our foundation runs off of uh, all the community support, all of the donations that we receive. And, of course, we do grant work, too. And Tracy writes lots of grants, and we receive grant money. But that's what it's all about. So uh, it's very important for our donors to come and to spread the word. Right. Spread the word. It's, that's what it's, we need that. Sounds like it, well, it's a Sunday evening, so you can uh, make it right. sort of a date night. Yeah, exactly. It, it's <laughs> Start the week off right. <laughs> yes, and um, there will, of course, be a, a wonderful dinner served also, and um, it will. It'll just be, it'll be a great evening all the way around, and I can guarantee when you leave there, you will leave with an amazing feeling in your heart for all of these survivors and what they have gone through and what they have chosen to do. It takes a lot of, um, I've lost the word for a minute. It takes a lot of heart to, to yeah, and courage, courage to come to show up. That's what I wanted to say. Yes, right? I mean, exactly. A lot of courage. Nobody wants to admit that they're, that they're being taken advantage of. That's right. right. Great information as always. If you want more information, give me a holler, 800-306-1990. I'll put you in touch with the foundation. I'll give you the, the website. We'll get that and have some people share that information as well. And be sure to set that first radio preset button to come back here every day to join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to Steve, who's engineering us today. And, of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests, call me anytime, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. And remember, make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio. Yeah.